So this is a quick video on how to uh, create things on your own, like a leaf or a camper shell or whatever you want, instead of borrowing somebody else's stuff. So I'm going to show you how to make a leaf with a vein running through it and how simple that really is. So I come out here with my little drawing tool and I'm drawing my leaf right now. And my leaf is just about finished. There we go. Now I'm going to draw the stem for the leaf. And there you go. There's the stem. Now I need to just make a few little adjustments here. So I'm going to come here to my note editor. And again, this video is not for those of you that are experts. It's for people that have no idea what nodes are and how to utilize them. So here's my stem. And uh, what I want to do with the stem is I want to give it some veins. So instead of redrawing things, I'm just going to hit Control D, which means duplicate. And I'm going to pull this down like this, resize it. And we'll pull this to be in this general area, maybe rotate it a little bit like that. And uh, pull that in like that. Control D. If I duplicated it again, I'm going to rotate it around just a little bit. Control D. This time I'm going to flip it up here and I'm going to rotate it around like this. And we'll put it on the opposite side. Give it a little bit more of a rotation. We're almost finished with our little veins coming through our control D. Pull this up just like this. Uh, control D, and we'll flip it. I'll rotate it around a little bit. And we're almost finished with this entire process here. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to draw a rectangle around the entire stem or vein system, and I'm going to give it an outline. You can manipulate it bigger or smaller or whatever, but I definitely don't want it that big. I want it small. Hit OK. Now I'm going to arrow it over just like that to match up with my leaf. So you can see my leaf's looking really good over here. So we're going to take the leaf. And we're going to give it a little bit of a shape. I'm going to click our node editor right here. I'm going to delete these two nodes right here. Delete. And we'll pull this one out. Pull this one out. Maybe elongate it a little bit here. And maybe add a node. Hit I. Maybe hit I here. And I'm going to hit S. S gives it a different shape. So I'm gonna kind of pull on that a little bit, pull this up, pull it out like that, maybe pull it back down this way. Um, just however you want your leaf to look. That looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna come here and put my, my vein system inside my leaf. Rotate it just a little bit, resize it. And let's go see what that looks like. I'm going to delete this one out real quick. And there's our leaf. Now we can see what it looks like better if we click on this and give it an outline. Hit OK. Now go back and look at it. There you go. Well, we can clean some stuff up real quick right here. So hit OK. We want to zoom in. Click on this. Click on our node editor. And everywhere you see these little humps right here, you just highlight those. You hit the D key for delete. So D and right here, D. E. Come on here. And you could also, I'm going to show you how to bring these to a point. So if you notice, you got a node here, a node here. I'm going to delete that one, delete that one. And I can pull this out. Uh, maybe pull that around like this. Pull this one around like that. And of course you can delete those out. Pull this down. Delete that one. Pull hit S. It gives it a little bit more of a rounded shape. So now you can go back in and take a look at how that looks. It looks a little bit cleaner. Um, that's it. That's all there is to making a leaf.
Now I'm going to show you how to make a camper. I'm going to highlight all that and hit delete. So it's like a little cartoon camper clip art. So you're going to come here to your drawing tool real quick. Uh, drawing our camper out right now. You know, all campers have these little things that hook up to the truck. There it is. And right here, we want to wheel well. We want to wheel well here. And then it connects right there. Yeah, we're about done with our camper now. So what we do is we come here to our node editor. And the first thing we want to do is click node editor. And... I think I just want to delete this node. So hit D for delete. We'll want to pull this around like that. And I'm going to hit S on this one just to see what it does. Oh, I kind of like that. So we'll leave that. Just kind of pull this back a little bit. I want to delete these two nodes right here. Delete. So if I highlight them both, it should delete them if I hit the D key. Now just grab this and just pull this up. There is a wheel well. Same thing here, delete those, pull it up. Now I can start getting things leveled out a little bit. I can pull this one down and use these guidelines right here. And same thing on this one, pull this up, pull this up to the same one. Same thing, pull, pull up here right here. And then I can start manipulating how the wheel well looks something like that and I can just duplicate that over here and that's close enough for now if I need to I can move this in a little bit and what we want to do is pull this down pull this up and let's take a look what we got here all right so let's pull this up a little bit and let's hit S again there. Pull that around. Matter of fact, let's just delete that one. See what happens. Delete. And pull this baby up like that. There we go. Much better. Okay, so now we need to put our door in. So we click back over here. We click a rectangle and we just draw a little rectangle like that and then we want to click our node editor right here and we may have to turn that to a path let's see what it says right mouse click convert to path now click our node editor and we want to make this a little bit wider we want to give it kind of a effect like that Pull this one down just a little bit. And we're almost done with our door. Uh, we could go ahead and click that button, make it a little bit wider. Hit OK. Put this little doorknob on there. And same thing, just use this little tool here. Hit OK. Uh, highlight both those. And just bring it down a little bit like that. And now what we need to do is make our window. So we come over here and we make a window. And we want to make sure that that's a path. So we right mouse click on it and convert it to a path. That lets us use our node editor over here. And what we want to do now is just kind of like, since the door is bending that way, we better make the window bend that way. Make this go up a little bit. Just a little like that. Then we can come in here and use utilize this tool again. Hit OK. And we're almost done with our window. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and put uh, louvers in there. What do you want to call those? Right mouse click. We want to group that. So uh, we could simply take a rectangle, zoom in here, pull down just like this. Sometimes if you hold your... Uh, Control key down and your shift key helps you out a little bit. So I'm going to right mouse click. Actually, I'm going to click back on this arrow here. I'm going to hold my shift key down. 
select both. And now I can, but I need to narrow this up a little bit. So click off of it, click on this, narrow it up a little. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control D, and we'll flip that. Actually, rotate it 90 degrees. Type in 90. And we'll pull that up here like this, just like that. And I'm going to weld these two together. And come over here to the weld key. And um, let's see if I want to manipulate those a little bit. So I'm going to pull this one over, pull this over a little bit. everything see what happens when we come over here and try to weld it that's good we need to take out these little humps right here so we'll just simply come to our node editor click here it won't work so we got ungroup click our window ungroup now click our node editor come in here delete those hit D for delete and uh, pretty much good to go we can delete some of these out here and so I messed up, so I'm going to hit I to insert a node, I. Now I can just pull that node down here like that. Zoom in, and I've got a little handle right here that needs to be pulled. So pull this over and see it, just like that. Pull this back this way. I'll maybe delete this one, hover over it, hit D, D. Now the reason it deleted the wrong one is because it still had it highlighted. Control Z, Control Z. I was still highlighted on this one. So what I want to do is either click on this one, and now I can just hover over things. So we're good to go there. Click off of it. Now we got a window that's pretty much done. We want to click right here. Uh, we want to outline the entire trailer. Hit OK. Now we need to make some wheels. As a matter of fact, we need another window. So we just simply click this window like that. Uh, we're going to group this. Right mouse click. And we're going to group it. Control C. Now, when I move my cursor over here and I hit Control V, it should put it in the general area, just like that. All right. So, one thing I could have done is I could have made these windows a little smaller. And just delete this one now. Delete. Click on this one. Control C. Come over here in general area. Control V. And if I want to align these two windows up exactly with each other, I just come up here to the top and align horizontal. And now they're lined up perfectly. Okay, now we need a little hitch and ball hitch right here. So we're going to come over here and draw a rectangle right there. And we're going to give it an outline just by hitting the outline tool there. Get Hit OK. Nothing's perfect on this. Because, uh, like I said, it's like clip art. So we clip, click off of it. Highlight both those right there, and we want to group those. So we hit group, and since we've got those clicked, we'll click here and here, and we'll weld that just like that. And now we'll come in here and we'll put a ball hitch on top of it. So we put a little ball, hold our control key down, and then we can go ahead and hit this tool again, and there it puts another outline around that ball then we can highlight it control z we want to click our cursor first highlight both of those two and then we want to group them group then we highlight all of this this right here and hold our control key down and that we hit weld again and so that's all welded together we can put our wheels on now so we simply don't want to draw a perfect circle, so we're going to come in here and draw like an oval. And now we're going to click another oval, and we're going to go outside, and we're going to make it a little bit bigger, just like that. Hit OK. Click both of those. Whoops, Control Z. Use our arrow pointer. Highlight them. Rotate this around like that. Make it a little bit smaller. Pull it in here where we want it. 
Now what we want to do is go ahead and hit uh, Control D, or as a matter of fact, let's just hit C, and come over here, Control V, it's pretty close where we want it. All right, so now we can go see what our little trailer looks like. We hit the, and there you go. There's your own little clip art. If you want to clean this part up, it's real simple. You just come in here, click your node editor, click out here on this. Now you've got to ungroup it first. So click, click, ungroup. Now click your node editor. Zoom in on this. Simply highlight the notes you want to get rid of, nodes you want to get rid of. And uh, kind of like that right there. So we'll leave that. And we can go back and see what it looks like. There you go. And again, if you want to clean that up up there, you just hit OK. Come up here to your window. Click on your window. You have to ungroup it. Now you can use your note editor. And we can come in here and clean this up a little bit. So we'll highlight these. Hit delete or D. Uh, this one here, we need to move it up a little like that. And maybe delete a few of these. Pull this one over a little. Delete that one. And so you kind of get the point. And there you have it. There's your little trailer that you can cut out and paint on your own or do whatever you want. Hope that helps you out.